Uh, first of all, a tough night. Um, you turn the ball over. It's difficult to win a football game when you turn it over. I think it was uh, turnovers from four to one. So we're minus three in the turnover margin just with a block kick. So things become difficult. Can't turn the ball over on a punt on the five yard line. You know, that just sort of intensifies things even more so for us. But the way the game spun, spun, I think, that a couple of things. One, early in the first quarter, we get a shutdown. We get a holding call on uh, PI, I guess, or holding. Um, you know, they get a first down. They're able to go down the field, I believe, and score a touchdown. And we have, have an opportunity to get off the field. That's their points for the first quarter. Um, you know, things sort of roll, you know, as you go through it. I'm looking at it, and, uh, you know, you just could never get untracked. It seemed this whole second half we'd get bad field position. And, and, um, you know, we punted back to them. We needed to punt much better than we did. I think that's the first time we punted like that. I'm sure the weather has something to do with it. You know, the work these balls weren't coming off his hand. There was, you know, there was no tight spiral to them. And I'm sure, again, the weather probably has some effect on that. But we never could get, really get anything going on the offensive side of the ball. I will credit our football team not quitting. And uh, that goes with everybody you know, in the program. But we need to do better. We need to do better and have to do better. So we'll recollect ourselves. We've got some younger guys that went down in the game. You know, we lost probably one, two, three receivers. And, you know, one didn't play coming into the game, and we lost two more during the game. So uh, it was a little tough, tough in that aspect. But uh, we kept playing. Um, but uh, I'll take some questions. Go from there. <coughs> Special teams problems, uh, averaged 31 yards a punt. Yeah. Uh, had the field goal blocked and penetration up the middle again, and then uh, yeah. the botched return at the six yard line. What does that tell you? Tell you didn't play well enough to win on special teams, and uh, you know, they can extreme, hurt you extremely. Uh, you know, Jake's never, I don't think he's ever punted like that in his career, and he's been punting for quite some time. So I'm not sure what was happening, but you know, he wasn't hitting the ball, connecting. As far as the kickoff block, the right tackle needed to be firm and punch, and they penetrated in that area. The field, the, uh, the punt return, I think he could have let that one go, and it would have bounced in the end zone for whatever reason he backed up on the ball. He was be always at the 10, um, and, um, and he fumbled it. That's, the conditions weren't great, you know, but he fumbled it. And, um, you know, nobody feels worse than, than he does. Um, but uh, you got to continue to believe in guys who also have done things for you in the past, too. So. Uh, but uh, you can't win a football game exactly right. You cannot win a football game playing like that on special teams. You were up to eight quarters without having scored a point. You had a week off talking about resetting and refocusing. Yeah. Yet offensively, we continue to see the same sort of problems. Do you feel like this is a, uh, simply an execution thing? or is you know, football's, is, football's a tough game. Football's a highly complicated yet basic game, I would say. Highly complicated, you can complicate it all you want, and then it can be as basic as a guy catching a ball, or protecting, or throwing a ball. And uh, from my perspective, we need to execute better. Uh, there are things that we can do from a call situation. We've got the same, I mean, a lot of the same plays are the same plays that other people run as well. Timing and who to go to and those type of things. But you know, we'll look at everything, we'll address everything, but then on the flip side of things too, and I think we also have to understand we played three teams that probably are three of the better teams defensively in the country. Um, when you look at the, them statistically and what they've been able to do, you know, they've given up eight touchdowns in seven games. So they're tough to score on. They've got good players and they're going to execute and, um, and uh, you play good field position. Their punter did an outstanding job hitting, the, hitting us back a number of times, punting the football. So they found a way to do those things. But, um, you know, everything gets looked at. Um, nobody's more disappointed in production than the offensive coaches or the offensive players. And we're just going to keep recollecting ourselves and move forward. You know, and we're four games. We're four and four, as tough as it is to say that, because I know everybody wants to be, you know, 8 0 right now. Um, but we're four and four. We've played four very good football teams. And you see, uh, and I think that we should be a, a very good football team again, too. But right now, we're not playing well enough to be that very good football team. So we need to recollect ourselves and get ready for Illinois. And we have another week off, so this is unusual that we play 
basically one game in three weeks or almost four weeks. But um, we'll use that to our advantage at this point in time and uh, get ourselves ready. And as I said to our football team in, the, in there, you know, football is a game of toughness. It is a game of toughness. So you got to block, tackle, and do all that kind of stuff and execute. And uh, you, But you also have to be able to withstand things in terms of things mentally and emotionally. And sometimes you're going to win, sometimes you're going to lose, and sometimes you're going to be on the short end of the stick. And I would say we were on the short end of the stick today. Mark, you mentioned the uh, defensive holding on the first, on their second touchdown that extended that drive. There was an offsides on their first touchdown on a third down. I'm just curious where your frustration level may be with those self-inflicted type penalties. Well, very much so. You know, we jumped offsides. I think they they go. You know, I can't. You know, it was a long football game, so I can't really remember everything. A lot going on, but but uh, the holding call. I think holding is one of the most inconsistent things that I see across the country. Now. You looked at my expressions. I don't think I agreed with that one. Um, the offsides is on us. Jumped off. They drew us off. You know, they, but we jumped off. Um, you know, the fourth and one. You know, the fourth and one um, that they went for, and we didn't stop them. You know, uh, midfield. They went up and down the score, and again on a shallow crosser, he builds with depth. Quarterback did a nice job. I thought their quarterback did a great job extending plays. Uh, as the play progressed, you know, he got outside the pocket or he stepped up in the pocket. He stepped up in the pocket, moved laterally. They took a shallow cross from vertical and they drained us out on the other side. So, you know, there was nobody there. And uh, he conferred on it. Carl, two personal quick questions. 